Ciao guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited about today's video because I'm going to expose all the data I have from my YouTube channel with you and we are going to explore all the stats and trends that made this channel running. If you haven't met before, I'm Laura, I'm a data analytics lead working in London and the exciting part of this video is that I want you to be part of this journey as well. I got the data set from TubeBuddy and I will tell you more about this tool later and I'm sharing the data set with you in the video description so you can follow along, get your hands dirty and help me with the data analysis. We will be using Tableau to make sense of all of this data and come up with some interesting insights. So if you are ready, let's get started. Okay, so first of all, let's look at the data. So this is the Excel file that I downloaded from TubeBuddy. And so as you can see, I has different columns related to all of my videos. So the video ID, channel ID, the title, the tags, description, privacy, and the date published, the category ID, category name, the thumbnail URL, watch URL, file name, the view count, the comment count, the like count, dislike count, and the length in seconds. And as you can see, as all of my videos that are currently on YouTube. And so you can download this file in the video description. And now we're going to open Tableau, click on connect to data, click on Microsoft Excel, and we are going to connect with uh, this file. I'm just going to check that all the fields are looking fine. And then I will click on sheet one. And as you can see, these are all the columns of our Excel file. Okay, so now let's build our first sheet. Then I'm going to rename and call KPI one total video uploaded so I want to see some KPIs at the top of the dashboard and so to do that I will drag the video ID into text and I will actually select the measure count distinct and this is the total count of videos that we have and then we need to change the text so just changing the, the format the label of the text so I'm just gonna add the metric and the total videos uploaded and then I will quickly align to center for the text and now what I want to do is to actually create a tooltip that will show a bit of details about this uh, total videos uploaded metric. So let me show you how we can do this. So I'm going to quickly duplicate this tab and I will call this KPI one total videos uploaded tooltip. And now what I want to do is to actually separate between the regular videos and the shorts. So shorts, as you may know, is um, the videos on YouTube that are less than one minute, kind of having a Instagram style similar to the reels. And so the difference of this is that obviously Obviously, all the videos that are less than one minute on my channel will be categorized as shorts. And so to do this, I will create this calculated field called video type. And I would say if the length in seconds is less than 16, then call it shorts. Otherwise, call it regular. We'll click on OK. I will drag video type into the rows and also the count of video IDs into the columns, also into the colors just to distinguish the two. And I will choose a gray color for regular and red color for the shorts. I will also hide the header of the chart and I will also hide the title and also edit the label for the charts and align it to right so that we have the, the numbers on the chart. And now what I'm going to do is go into the first sheet that we created and click on tooltip and actually add the, the tooltip sheet into the tooltip. And so now if I hover over the metric ATC, now you see the distinction between regular and shorts videos. Now I'm going to do exactly the same for the second KPI, which uh, in this case will be called the total view count for the videos. And so the logic is the same. We're just going to substitute that metric and so add in the view count, also changing the text. And again, we're going to create exactly the same tooltip as we did before, also for the total views. So I'm just going to substitute metrics again and I'm hiding the header and also re-adding the tooltip into the KPI too. Now I will go a bit faster here because again, I'm just following exactly the same procedure for the KPI tree, which we're gonna call total like count. So again, creating the worksheet for the KPI tree and also the tooltip that will show again the distinction between regular videos and shorts videos. Then we are gonna do exactly the same for KPI four, which is gonna be the total dislike count. And again, we're gonna create uh, the same tooltip for that as well. And then again, we do KPI five, which is the total number of comments again with the tooltip. And so in this way, we have five KPI that we can show at the top of the dashboards with the key metrics for my YouTube videos. Okay, so now for the next sheet, I want to actually understand the distinction of the performance
performance of regular videos compared to short videos. But before doing this, I need to uh, check the outliers that we may have in the data set because I know that there are a couple of videos that have much higher view counts compared to the rest. And so I will add titles to the rows. I will do the sum of the view count in the columns. I will actually sort everything by the view count in descending order. And then I will add the video type into the tooltip. And as you can see, there are two videos, these two at the top. One is a regular video, one is a short video that have much higher views compared to the rest. So we can call these outliers. And so what I want to do is actually create a filter to remove these outliers from some of these views. So I'm just going to copy paste the title of this video and I'm going to put this calculation. So not title equal to and then the first title of the video or title equal to the second title of the video and then click on OK. And then as you can see, if I put this in the filters and select true, this will actually remove the outliers from uh, the view. So now let's go ahead and check the performance of uh, videos against shorts. And let's do this first analyzing the number of the views. So in this case, I'm going to add the video type in the columns. I will add the average view count in the rows. I will also change the colors using the video type into colors. And I will apply these filters that we just created for to remove the outliers. And now I will do exactly the same for comparing videos and shorts, but this time in terms of number of likes. So I will substitute the metric and add average uh, like count. And then again, I will do exactly the same, but this time for comments count. And this will be our third uh, bar chart that we created. Before continuing with the analysis, let me share something that has been a real game changer for managing and growing my YouTube channel. It's called TubeBuddy and they're kindly sponsoring today's video. I've used it for more than eight months now. And in case you're thinking to start your journey on YouTube, or maybe you already started, I will definitely check it out. TubeBuddy is like having a super intelligent personal assistant for your YouTube channel. It's packed with tons of great features like the video tags, which analyzes the tags being used for higher performing videos, SEO Studio to optimize the searchability of your videos, suggested shorts which give you inspiration of what shorts you might create next, and a thumbnail analyzer to maximize your click-through rate. But my absolute favorite feature is the Keyword Explorer. This tool is something I use for all of my videos to try to get more visibility. Keyword Explorer suggests keywords that can help your content reach the right audience. Just type in a word or phrase and voila, it dishes out a list of related search terms along with data on how competitive they are. And it gives you a score so that you can immediately see the potential of your video idea. So if you're serious about growing your channel, I generally recommend giving TubeBuddy a try. You can install it from the link in bio and use the code LOREBUDDY20 to get 20% off your subscription. All right, now back to our project. Okay, now for the next sheet, I actually want to analyze again videos against shorts, but this time in terms of the engagement of the videos. And so for this, I will need to create a calculated field that is called the engagement rate. And it's kind of a metric that is quite common in the social medias. So I'm going to do the like count and sum into the comment count over the total number of view count. And then I will uh, multiply by 100 to have the percent. And so this will give me kind of positive engagement rate because I'm not counting the, the dislikes in this case. And again, I will add the video type so I can separate between regular videos and uh, short. And in this case, I also want to create a tooltip to see a few more details about the engagement. So I want to see the like over view ratio. So I'm going to create this calculated fields that is like count over view count. And I will add this into uh, the view, selecting average and this will be first tooltip and then I will create the engagement second tooltip and in this case I want to check another ratio that is we can call comment over view ratio so it's the count of comments over the count of views and again I will add it to the uh, view and uh, select average and now I will go back to our main engagement chart I will uh, change the, the tooltip and add the two tooltips that we have created now as you can see if I go into either regular or short I don't see the two bar charts, but I see either the bar chart for regular or the bar chart for shorts, whereas I want to see basically both of them in comparison. And so in order to do this, there is a kind of a tricky way that is just uh, basically creating a dummy calculated field. So we're going to call this dummy and we're going to put a string in this case, just a click on OK. And then now we're going to put 
put the dummy variable into the filter and select A. And now we're going back to our uh, bar chart. We're gonna open the tooltip and in here, instead of all fields, we are actually gonna select A, which is the string for our uh, dummy variable. And as you can see now with this little trick, we have the two bar charts in the tooltip, regardless of what I'm uh, hovering over in the in the bar chart. Okay, so let's uh, go now to the next part of the chart. Another thing that I wanted to add in the chart is a kind of a info uh, button where I give more information about this matrix that may be a bit complicated for someone new that is looking at this data. So we'll put a dummy variable in detail, uh, select on shape, then I will select this uh, little bulb. I will adjust a bit the size of the shape and then I will click on the tooltip and in here I just created this kind of tag that is explaining some more details of the metrics and bar charts that uh, we just created. The next part of the dashboard, I actually want to see the correlation between the number of the views and the length of the video. And so in this case, I will actually transform the length in minutes. So we'll create this calculated field called length minutes, which is just uh, the length in second over 60. And I will put this into columns and the view count into rows. So Tableau will automatically create a scatter plot. But now if I put the title into the details and also the video type, then you see all the videos in the chart. Now I need to adjust the X axis. So I'm going to put a logarithmic scale and also exclude uh, the zeros. And I will do the same for the Y axis. Then I need to adjust the size of, of the dots. Also, I'm going to have a, this red color and I'm actually adding this uh, trend line from the analytics tab into the chart. I will also add the metrics into the tooltip so that we have all the information of the videos when I'm hover over the, each of the videos. Now, what I want to do with the next uh, worksheet is to have the list of videos that have no tags and tags are pretty much like the hashtags that we have on uh, Instagram. So to do this, I will put the title into the text. I will put the privacy into the rows because also I want to see if a video is public or private. And then I will select the filter tags and we'll just select no. And these are the two videos here with uh, without tags. Then what I want to see is the a list of videos with dislikes higher than likes. So in this case, I will create another calculation, call it dislike higher than likes, and that will be the calculation. And so if I put it into the filter, as you can see, I can only select false, meaning that there is actually no videos, fortunately, with dislikes higher than like. And then the last table that I want to create is the uh, list of the least performing videos. So I will put titles into rows and also video types into rows. I will put into text the view count and uh, I will sort the titles by view count and then actually gonna keep only the three top videos. I will exclude the one with the weird title and here I have one regular video and one short um, with the least amount of views. Okay, and so these are all the uh, worksheets that we are gonna work on to create our final dashboard. So now we'll create the final dashboard called uh, YouTube channel performance. So what I'm gonna do is uh, first of all, having a title. So I'm gonna call channel performance dashboard. I will actually put an image, the YouTube uh, logo on the left hand side of the title and actually the image profile of the my channel on the right hand side. And then yeah, we'll put this at the top. Then I will add another text and we'll call this, this is kind of a title of the section. I will call this the channel summary and I will put it in white and gray background. And then in here I will add a horizontal container and I will add all the KPIs that we created initially. So the five KPIs, I will hide all the titles and also distributes evenly. Then I will add the performance of shorts versus regular videos title in the same style as the title that we had before. And another horizontal container with the four bar charts that we created uh, before. So analyzing the performance of shorts versus regular videos by views, by likes, by comments and also by engagement. Then the next section will be another title and we're gonna call this the correlation between views and the length of regular videos. And we are gonna add here the scatter plot. And actually I forgot to mention here that we filter only by regular videos for the scatter plot. So uh, we're not interested in shorts as we are analyzing the length of the, of the videos. So I'm not interested in the very short videos. And then the last section, we're gonna call this take immediate action because these are things that uh, might be 
important to change in the channel itself. And so we're gonna add the three tables that we created. So videos with no tags, the least performing videos and the video with dislikes higher than likes. And then I will just center the titles, adjust a bit of the size. Okay, and so this is final dashboard. So I added this red line at the top, just the title size with the black line to separate with the dashboard. And then we have a first section. So channel summary with our five KPIs. So we have 86 total videos, 36 are regular videos, 50 are shorts, total number of views, total likes, dislikes, comments. Uh, so we can see, for example, that we have much more views and like regular videos. We have actually more uh, dislikes uh, for the shorts and comments is no comparison so a lot more comments in the regular videos. Then we have a different next section performance of shorts against regular videos with the info button saying what we are trying to see here. So popularity, which are the, these three uh, bar charts by views, by likes, by comments. So we see the regular videos are performing better. And then we have uh, the engagement as well. So in the engagement, we see a similar engagement rate between regular and shorts. But then if we check like and view ratio, shorts are actually much better. Whereas if we check comments against views, then regular videos are much better. And then we have correlation between views and length of regular videos. So we see that there is a slightly positive correlation. So it seems that the longer the videos and the more the views, so maybe because people like more tutorial and longer, longer videos. And then we have the take immediate action section. So in here, it's very interesting to see, for example, that I have one video with uh, that is public with no tags. So this is something that I definitely need to work on. So I need to add the tags on this video and then we have the least performing videos. So this gives me an indication of the least performing videos for regular videos and shorts as well. So I might, I don't know, change the, the titles, maybe the thumbnails or even remove it from the channel, maybe. And then fortunately, we uh, don't have any videos with uh, more dislikes than likes. So that's a good sign. And then we have the, the final last update at the end. So yeah, this is the, the final dashboard that, that we created. And there you go, guys. This is a fun project that I made based on my YouTube channel that you can obviously readapt and add to your portfolio. As I said, I would love if you can work on the data set as well, if you want to do some practice and maybe help me to come up with interesting insights as well. As always, if you like the content of this video, make sure to like and subscribe for similar content. I will also leave here in the screen some other projects that I made using Python and SQL and well, enjoy the rest of your day. Ciao for now and see you in the next one.